Right now, isn't it always the way you get up to the top of a hill and the wind is blowing? The wind is blowing something horrible up here today. I don't know if you can see that grass moving, but it's fair honking. So as soon as I get out of the vehicle, there's just going to be constant wind noise. Now, up that way, is that's looking north. All right, now that's the top of the old woman range over there with that wee nipple on the top of it. The one behind it with the snow on is the carrick. Actually, the, the Pisa, that's the carrick there. Away in the distance there, I see if I can... I'll drop the window down for a minute, but the, the um, wind will whistle through here and make a hell of a noise, but you'll just have to withstand that. And that's the Remarkables from Queenstown. Remember we were just up at Queenstown? Nipply points away along there, the nipply points along there, that's the Remarkables behind Queenstown. Yeah, 60 mile away or something, right? Yeah, that's the old man range behind us, 5,000 something feet high. Hang on, I'll stick that window up again. Get rid of most of the wind. That little town there is Alexandra, the one away in the distance is Clyde. The wee Mark on the hill is the road we went up not back before. Now, there's some near hills. With, there's hills here, the near hills, and behind them is all those green trees. Now, almost at the top, you can see a little bit of shining behind one. I don't know if it will zoom in that way as well. No, it's probably all zoomed in, is it? Yeah, it is all zoomed in. Right. But behind the shiny one there, that was my place where I lived. And then way, 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 way up that road, away in the distance, the far away smudge on the hill, that was our run hold. 500 acres way up there. We had another couple of hundred acres way out there. 150 here. And now I've got a quarter in Roxburgh here. Yeah. Anyway people, that is the road that Battle Truck drove from from their fuel dump. They drove that road and they drove way over there and in behind and a long way further some good rough driving country in through there, rough roads Virtually no one uses it. They could close the road off and no one no one hassled them. They had their own access to the road. There's a run hold away in the back country. Very few people use it. They come in, in the morning to bring the kids to school and they pick them up in the afternoon. Apart from that, no one else uses the road apart from the odd local that does a bit of hoon skying, skiding around, but never mind. So that was that was the battle truck gravel road. Now, remember when the young fella left Sheep's Head Station at Ernstclew with the girl on the back of the motorbike and they hightailed it down and they went all around this ruggedy stuff and then they rode across that piece away over there towards the mountain and they ended up at the top of that hill almost in the gully way up on our farm way up there at Clearwater Village. Now, they started at Sheep's Head, which is at Ernsclue, away over there. Oh, way over there in the, in the foothills. Probably down towards Fruitlands Way. Sheep's Head. And they headed south. The next shot, they were heading east on that road. And the next shot, they were heading exactly north across the tussock country towards the old woman rock over there and they then arrived in five mile away or six mile away into the encampment up there so for a local 
Their scenery was right up the Puha. But hey, it looks good in Battle Truck. It looks good in Battle Truck. So find the movie on YouTube that's called Battle Truck. Whip in and have a look. And I'll tell you what, the scenery is beautiful. Now remember where we saw the AJ Hackett's bridge on the up on the other on the other video? It wasn't too far away in the Kawara Gorge here that they dumped the truck over the edge. Of course they didn't show you between here and Queenstown to get it there. Oh no, that wasn't part of the film. The film was here. In the Mania here Kia Alexandra Ernst Glue Basin. Because it was our film and because it was filmed on my grandfather's estate and the village was named after us because Dip Creek comes through my dad's old orchard and it's very crystalline um, um, see-through water and they called it clear water now, they got the spelling slightly wrong because our name is spelt C-L-A-R-E and not C-L-E-A-R. But I'll forgive them because it's the way you spell clear water. And you'll forgive them now too. And tough if you don't because that's what it's called in the Battle Truck movie. Now, up in the back of here is where the big explosion was, right at the very start. The big explosion, I'll show you in the back there, and where those little trees go up the, up the side there. That was the big explosion. Now, it took four and a half hours for the big ring of smoke to drift away across the top of these hills and disperse. A uh, distance of about six or seven miles. But anyway, that's, that's the Alexandra lookout, and that's where we are. Alexandra, my hometown, Ooh, Galloway, my home farm, Tiger Hill with the two buttons on the on the thing there, and the Hawkton Range, absolutely flat as a pancake, um, 60 mile away at the end of the valley. Now we'll go out in the wind. I'm sorry about the wind, but it's going to make some noise. Thankfully it's died down a bit. Extreme opposite side of the world, on the other side of my feet, Gorgoon is standing up the other way, looking at his feet, looking at me. farm. You can see the little smudge on the hill, the little yellow road going up the hill, not this road, but the road just is. Anyway, zoom out so you can yeah, get a better idea of the distance. That's the truck. starts in behind here and 
goes towards Hawkins. It also comes out to the it drains out at the midway point. Most valleys like this one drain out at one end. So that's Alexandra, the big metropolis of Alexandra, and Clyde in the background. The home of Gallup. We're going to take her up there next. But we won't take it from here because we won't get over that wee bridge down there. That's that bridge down there, see? Because I'm not wearing glasses, I see a lovely reflection of my face, except when it's zoomed in. Sorry about that, but, uh, yeah. I can't see it. 